Hello, my pretties. Good to see you. It's kind of weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Hey, two days in a row. Let's go. Uh, the reason why I get two days in a row is because it is 10 o'clock at night when I'm recording this, but it's going to be like middle of the day when you're watching this. And I thought it'd be fun to do, I've, I've ne I don't think I've done a review in a long time. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to do a review of a movie I actually went to the theater and saw, Jackass for, Forever, 4, Jackass 4, the new Jackass. And I'll tell you what, man, I was looking forward to this movie. Uh, really looking forward to this. When I first saw the trailer for this movie, I legitimately got super excited because it came out right in the middle of pandemic and it was one of those things where it just kind of felt like a friend coming home. You know, you're like, oh man, that just feels good. A little bit of nostalgia attached to it. And they definitely know that the end is nigh for, uh, for our friends at Jackass, at least for the, uh, for the classic crew. They've been around for 20 years now. And uh, going back and watching this, I'll say this, it was kind of like watching, uh, you know, you know, when you see a friend you haven't seen in a long time and you're like, oh man, it's great to see you. But you're looking old. <laughs> it was kind of the, kind of the same thing. And throughout the movie, you know, everybody knows the jackass formula, right? Um, you know, it's bits, it's people getting hurt and it's, you know, funny little yah-yahs here and there. And if, for me, Jackass was a big part of the inspiration of Screw Attack, so I actually have a pretty close, uh, you know, uh, pretty close, I don't know, affinity for it. I mean, not to say that like we wanted to, you know, get hit in the balls every day, even though we did do ball hits and stuff, but but the camaraderie of Jackass, I think, is what ties people in more than anything. Jackass does an amazing job of making you feel connected to the guys who are getting hit in the nads, right? Speaking of nads, I'll tell you this, man. In this movie, you will see more nads and more penises than you'll ever see in any movie that is not a porno. It is crazy. I, you want to talk about getting to know somebody? Listen, I've seen, their, I've seen all their junks. I've seen all of it. And it starts literally from the opening scene. So if you are squeamish about seeing the male penis or the testicle region, regions, uh, I would suggest not seeing this movie. But if you can handle a little dick on your screen in your theater, then you, know, you can deal with it. Now I'll say this. I went to the theater to go see it because it, that's where the only place you can see it. And that's probably where I want to see it. And it was me and one other guy. <laughs> and it was, uh, I was a few rows up. He was all the way in the back. And we'll just call him Barry. So it's me and Barry in the back, you know, and, and we're just hanging out, you know, six rows back behind me. And uh, I'm laughing and he's laughing. And I've never been the type of person to talk in a movie, you know, when I, when I watch it. But Barry was a talker. He's like, oh, my, oh, don't do that, Johnny. Oh, geez. So, you know, but in a weird way, I just kind of befriended Barry and was like, all right, Bear. You know, I don't know if his name, I don't know if his name was Bear, but watching that with Barry was all right because it was fun to have. I, I would imagine it would have been a lot better, but I went to see the movie at, on a Tuesday night at six o'clock um, when, when grandma was watching the kids <laughs> um, and uh, had an opportunity to, to spend a little alone time with, with, the, with the screen. So, so went up and watched the movie. Um, I'll say this, like I said, the guys have certainly gotten older, which is what you'd expect. But when you see your friends for the first time in a long time and they, and they do the things that you saw them do when they're younger, now it's just kind of like, stop it guys, stop it. You know, like it was cool, but now I like legitimately don't want to see you get hurt. And I'll say this, man, the one guy, I, I don't know, you know, everybody knows Johnny Knoxville. Everybody knew Bam, which Bam is not in this one, you know, and, the, and it's has, apparently has to do with rehab. There's different, different stuff have to do with that, different stories attached to that. I don't know. Apparently Bam is in a bad place and he needs to get rehab. So I hopefully he does, but he wasn't in the movie, but, uh, there's a guy named Adam, which he's, he's like one of the other guys. If, if you're, if you were to rank the, the, the guys on Jackass, there's like three tiers. He's like a tier three guy, right? Um, He's, he's the pincushion this time around, and he gets his, like, his ass kicked throughout the entire thing. Him and uh, like Dave England, I, I, I legitimately felt sorry for him a couple times. You know, he's always been like this skittish guy. He's the guy who took the dump in, in the old one, the old, in like the store in the old one, and they recreate that gag, and it's, a little, it's pretty funny the way they do it this time around. Um, very random, but uh, Adam was the pincushion. He was the guy who, who really just got worked over. Um, they, they brought in a bunch of, uh, new, I guess, role players or, or members of the team. And, and they all definitely played their own, their own group. Uh, you know, there's a guy named, uh, Poopy and he's kind of like, 
you know, the young, dumb, full of cum guy who's, who's ready to go out and, and uh, you know, be the next Steve-O. Uh, there's a guy named Jasper who you could tell he was kind of trying to fit in, but they bring his dad in, and his dad is kind of this hard, hardened ex-con, you know, thug life guy who, 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 who did some bad things, went to the went to the pen is now back and he's, he's, he's like, you know, a dad, there's, they have a little father son thing going on and it's, it's cool. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you this. I don't, I don't remember what the girl's name is, but if you saw her, like when you think of like the type of people that would be in jackass, right? You think of like, you know, <laughs> people that don't have a whole lot going for them. And I thought this girl was like, I thought she had a lot going for her. She seemed like really smart. Right, <laughs> like, and I feel like she could do a whole lot better than than getting uh, stung in the lip by a scorpion. But hey, you do you. So uh, I thought she was really fun. And uh, then they got like the big overweight guy who he's going to be the next star. I don't even remember what his name is, but he's all tatted up, and um, you know, you got you got to have the big fat guy, right? And he's the big fat guy, and and he's doing all the slidey things and stuff. So it was they were good additions. They didn't feel like they they were trying to shoehorn it, shoehorn them in. They just were there. And uh, I really enjoyed it, um, you know, at least, at least the new members of the team. I wish I could just remember what, what their names were. Um, there was a lot of, like I said, nuts, a lot of dicks, and a lot of shocking. There was a lot of electricity attached to this, whether it was shocking somebody with a taser or shocking people on their feet or on their butt or their anus, uh, a lot of that. But I, for me, the favorite stunt in the entire movie was, uh, was like the, bun- the bungee wedgie, which... It sounds exactly like you'd expect it to, but uh, I got the biggest laugh out of that one. But there were some really funny stunts throughout it. So uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, um, it's exactly what you'd expect it to be. It was 80 minutes. And for me, like, I don't want another jackass unless they completely turn it over to a new team. Like, they planted the seeds for the new people, and now they have the new people to move around. And then the next time they add some more jackasses. Um, and obviously Johnny Knoxville, he's the leader and he takes a massive bump in this one. And, um, um, you know, so if they move on without Johnny Knoxville or any of the regular players, which by the way, I think jackass without Johnny Knoxville would be kind of weird, but at this point it's like, okay guys, you know, and obviously Steve-O, um, but you know, you could also say the same, same thing about not having Bam there. And I'll say this, he, he was, I'm not going to say it was noticeable that he wasn't in it, but it was, I felt okay. I felt okay with him not knowing that, just knowing that like, oh, that dude's on drugs and he needs to get over it and uh, he needs to go through rehab and, and, and get clean. And I think that's a greater, greater cause. You know, at least that's the messaging that the jackass guys have said. So, um, you know, obviously I want to make sure that any, you know, that, and that goes back to the idea that like, these guys are getting older. They're like, you know, in their fifties now. And at one point, one of them poops their pants and he's like, I'm a 51 year old man. You know, and you go, yeah, you're, you're almost, you're, you know, in nine years, you're going to be 60, man. You don't need to be taking bumps like this and hurting yourself. You know, it's one thing when you're young and your body can take it, but now you can tell that, that the damage is being done and the damage is going to be going to hurt a lot more. I mean, multiple people get carried out on stretchers in this film, but I laughed, <laughs> I laughed a lot. Uh, I definitely cringed a lot and, uh, I saw all their dicks, um, there's a nice little uh, nod to Ryan Dunn at the end, the very, very end of the, the credits. So that was cool. Um, obviously, Ryan Dunn died in the car accident, driving his Porsche, probably being stupid. But uh, he was their friend, and it was cool to see them, uh, you know, give a nod to their friend. I don't think there was actually any footage of Bam in the entire film, though, even even like during some of the recaps and show, showing some of the older uh, skits. But I could be wrong, but uh, I'm sure that was probably a point of contention along the way. Either way, my overall re- review of Jackass Forever was... It's exactly what you'd expect it to be. And for me, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Uh, I laughed a lot. It was about 85 minutes of, of guys getting hit in the balls and shocking each other and seeing penises <laughs> and wedgies. I didn't think that the ending of the movie was as spectacular as I hoped it would be because, you know, generally there's a big opening and a big closing and in between there's a bunch of gags. But the end was okay. It wasn't the best. But... Um, but it was still a satisfying watch. So if you haven't yet, uh, go and uh, check it out if, you're, if you want to you know, wait till it's on Netflix. That's totally fine, totally fine too. Uh, what did you see? Did you see it? Uh, who is your favorite Jackass person? Just put a comment down below. I, I would love to hear your thoughts on the movie if you haven't seen it yet or if you have seen it yet. Uh, and tell me your favorite Jackass skit of all time. I would love to hear it down, low, uh, down below in the comments. And uh, do me a favor, hit the, uh, 
hit the thumbs up because that's important. And if you're watching on mobile, do the thumb on the thumb, and that'll pop up the thing there. Uh, if you've ever watched Jackass, because I know you have Jackass, man, what a, what an American institution, you know? It's like this product from another time that's come back what you know one night only, <laughs> which is very very cool. So, all right, uh, I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys will too. I'll see you guys sometime. I don't know when, but I'll see you. I'll see you eventually. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Bye bye.